Hello, John Dilworth here. Very happy to be back on the table. Let's see what's happened to Jim. So, uh, lots has happened. And let's take a look at it. I don't want you to be left out. So this is what he's done. He's, he's, uh, he's picked this hanger up. Hanger. It's a hammer, by the way. And one thing I want to point out, even as I look at this, I have here the original layout. This is the rough layout. I like keeping this here so I could uh, reorientate myself wherever the action may take me. And um, it's okay that it's rough like this because uh, it's just a general idea. So, so in terms of composition, um, what I'm aiming for is clarity. Even with this hand back here, um, I have it so that it's visible and works within... I try to work it within the spaces that are available. And so here he is lifting the hammer. And what I've done is I let his shoulder lead. And it pulls him back. And as it's pulling him back, his head lowers. And I'm only focusing on the most important action here, and that is the raising of the hammer. And everything else is collateral, uh, secondary action that supports the first, right? And so on and so on. And so here he has, so there, I, I think that's really, uh, I have him dipping. I think that's uh, an effective, you see that? And the way his head goes down and then up. And I'm not going to bother with the details of the head because, again, it's secondary and even there's a, another layer after that. It's just breaking down, breaking down, breaking down. Most important actions first, right? The hammer. So he's up here. And, and then he's going to break the glass. So what I wanted to do is have his whole body lean into... So he leans into the hit. And as he's coming forward, the arm at least, his, ba his body then goes backwards. So let's just see that. And there it is. And there it is. And I put even a little accent on his head to help with the hit. Because it's all happening very, very, very fast. We're talking about three beats a second. So every eight frames, there's, an ama there's a, 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 a major a hit in, in terms of business, what he's doing. So it's going to be dun, 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 you know, like this. So it's really important that everything is clear. And I'm not going to worry about his hair. His hair is absolutely the last thing I want to deal with because we don't know how it's going to overlap. We really don't. And I don't like to give uh, any restrictions or constrictions uh, to things that are like that, like flowing things, fluid, fluid things. Not like my buddy Fluid. Um, well, that's kind of weird to say, but fluid notes, fluid things. And then look at this. I, a, a little exaggeration as the hammer is coming down, just to help it. You, you see, you can feel it just like that. And you have a tiny little sound effect. Right? And that is how that is. And so I, I made this little uh, guide for myself on the glass breaking and and this this joke is i i have no idea if it's going to play out but you and i will know because it says breaking case of howling and it's a glass right but it's a glass with a door it's a door it's a door so why do you have to break it who knows so i created these big pieces of glass not i i don't want i could always do little shards after i know what you mean you say Oh, well, look, you can do tiny little ones also to give it more something. And I agree with you, right? It gives it, adds it, adds more dynamic visual uh, thrill. Uh, but you have, we have eight frame or really, I just want to keep it at four drawings. So 
we're coming down in four drawings, so all of these other peripheral tiny little kids will have to go with it. And that's fine, that's fine. We can do that secondary. But I made these little arc curves, charts, uh, so that we know that it's not just going to slide down, which is, oh my goodness, boring. You couldn't be more boring. And, and at the same time that they're arcing, they're going to t slightly turn. Not too fast, because then it, it's not enough time. You have one-third of a second. You just want to offer some extra feel to it, uh, a presence. That's it. That's a better word. Thank you for that. It's a presence. Okay, so where are we now? So Jim needs to drop the hammer. Now I'm just roughing this out now here, which he's doing just like that. You see how that worked? Bing! And in fact, I want to give this a little dimension, so I'm going to turn it this way. And yeah, maybe a little big than the model, but uh, that's because we're just having fun. And this hand here, which I placed arbitrarily, because the other drawings, I'm not interested in where this hand is. Let me just show you because it's not important. It's not a relevant hand. It doesn't need to do anything. So that's the last time we saw it on drawing eight. And all the rest, I will simply animate as a secondary object. But I have to animate so that it ends up there. And so I'm having, I'm lifting him up just to keep this space clear. Look at that. It's very, and his head. So I'm turning his right shoulder in because that shoulder has to grab that handle. And may, maybe what I'll do is give myself a little, a little guide. Or maybe not. I mean, this hand, this top hand has to now... And I like hands. I mean, as I draw them, they get even weirder and weirder. So you notice if, yeah, it's better that he, it goes away. Hold on, hold on. See, it's just this hand we're talking about. So the other one is coming up. And it has to, unfortunately, it has to be very clear so we're not confused which hand is doing what. And I am thinking, this is why I have this layout guide, just to make sure I know where I am and that we have the right volume for Jim. That's his neck. I've decided to put in a landmark, his neck. And that shoulder will be in perspective, right? That arm. So this arm, I want back here. So in fact, let's move it, all right? Let's move it. Let's move it back a little bit. And it's, we can do this. I'm not just roughing it in. I'll go back and give it its fine details. Yeah, you see there, that's, yeah, that's, that's nice. It's, and it's clear. Well, I'm all into clarity. I, I really do. I love action that's clear. It's also, it's, now I'm thinking about a uh, story. And it's, you know, it's, it's tough. I hope, yeah. Well, look, I, I don't have to share with you my anxieties over narrative. We've proved the thing out, but it's just whether or not the story is relevant, but I just don't want to make it another love story with a, um, um, a, hairy, a hairy love story. <laughs> That's actually a funnier word. So this, this uh, hammer now has to fall. Uh-oh, I feel a sneeze coming on. What's you? Well, this is the season of sneezes. 
in New York City, you've got all sorts of stuff falling out of the trees and into my nostrils. And I love that it, it reminds me of these wonderful science fiction stories where you have aliens that come in. And I wanted to do one of these stories. Uh, they, they attack, they attack, uh, okay, so here's a, here's a moment where this hand and this kid's head, no, I think it, it'll work fine. Look at that. I like that. I just have to make sure his n big nose, you know, Jim's big schnoz doesn't interfere. And we, w we could always make adjustments. But this is nice too, because look at the, I can even pull his head back further just to help what he's going to do. One, two, so that's 16, right? This is 17. Let's just call this 18. Now, since I, I have this top drawing, I call this a top drawing. Let's see what it looks like. Held, right? Okay, so I'm just drawing his hand here. One, two, three. And just a little bit more here. The shoulder. I'm doing this rather quickly. And there's always finessing. Always finessing. You take this filthy thing, decades old. You can even call it a anthropological artifact, you know. And if there was technology where you could place this in a in a device and it gets read, and it could tell you everything in it, that it has erased from the very first, what value would that be? I don't know. But it's like, it's like uh, changing your batteries. Our batteries go out. Doesn't make any sense either. <laughs> well, that's the trouble of an animator. All right, so look at this. I'm going to have this. I'm going to have Jim's hand back here. Maybe a little overlap. I'm going to close in. Now I'm going to close in his hand, keep it tight, and it'll be in foreshortened. And maybe this hand needs a little adjustment too. Let me just write. So it's nearly there. I just really should have a mirror. Is it? It's like that, right? So, yeah. Hold on. I don't like the way this looks. Yeah, it's, these drawings can be very, very ugly. I mean, draw, sometimes you get drawings that are just the most gross drawings. Okay, so this is not so bad. I will, when I, yeah. And in fact, I'm, I might even do something. St yeah, why not? Let's do that, right? Let's get his, let's get his angle. Let's get an angle on his shoulder foreshortened. Yeah, that's funny. Well, look at that. That's kind of nice. Now, the reason why I'm keeping his hand pretty close is because he has to reach in there. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have it, I'm going to overlap it here, over his body. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Have his thumb. Yeah, I like that better. It just 
we're we're closer. Of course, it's foreshadowed, foreshadowed, and here's his neck and his head. How big is his head? How big is his head? Right? And we might even have to, we might even have to adjust further. Always adjusting. Adjusting because we're making uh, critical decisions on other objects, like his head. Well, now when we get his head in, we know the proportions of his arm. And I still, still want to finesse it. So I got all these beautiful red pens, pencils. I found them in in a copious storage. I love my red. I just love red pencils, and not for correction. They just. I mean, so let's just see. That's his original head layout. So things look okay. I think they look just passable. Maybe this arm could just use a little bit more length. And and so it's just an easy, yeah, an in-between. Let's see, if, let's do it. Let's do that in-between. And see how it works out. What do we have to lose? And then we'll just call it So the thing I'm noticing right away is I want to avoid the halfway. Because that to me would be a little bit boring. And I try out a form. I'm just thinking it was elbow to elbow. And maybe even not giving that away totally. Where is he? Okay, so that's his body. Some things we know and they could help us right away. That's his body. That's his it's this part is a little bit tighter. So we can do that. And there's his neck. Right, okay, and then there's arcs for elbows. This is, I can just do that. No worries. And his hand, I'm going to take low and then have it come up. Right? There we go. And the details of the fingers. Yeah, I'll tighten those up. Now, it's not to worry. What I'm more interested in is this hand and how we can make this a little bit more dynamic. And don't forget his shoulder. Oh, that must be uh, a very important phone call. So, that's a good time to close it. And until then, until next time, stay animated.